the notation that is associated to all this stuff is going to be familiar to you. You're going to say, hey, I've seen things like that before. But specifying exactly what we mean by this notation, that's going to take some time and effort. Let's see a preview of what this is going to look like in the context of a vector path integral. Let's say you've got gamma, a parametrized path in Rn, and then you have a vector field f also on Rn. Then what we're going to wind up doing is writing down things that look like the following. We're going to integrate over this path gamma something of the form f dot dx. Now that's sort of old fashioned physics notation. What that dx means is you look at all the differentials dx1, dx2, all the way up through dxn, and then you stack them into a vector of differentials and call it dx. You take the dot product of that unusual object with the vector field f, and what this produces or brings out is something like you see on the right, where I take the components of that vector field, f1, f2, all the way up through fn, multiply them respectively by dx1, dx2, dxn, add them all together, and then integrate this over gamma. Now, what does that mean? We'll get to that. We'll get to that. But for now, what I want to emphasize is that that integrand is something new. This is something we're going to call this alpha f, the one form field associated to f. Now, what, what is that? What, what does that mean? These look like the differentials that you learned about earlier in calculus but it's going to take some time to tease out exactly what this is and means. For the moment, I want you to think back. Think back since the very beginning of your journey through calculus. The question has been left unanswered, unresolved. What exactly is dx? What, is it like a little bit of x? Or is it, uh, I don't know, some kind of just notation thing that you integrate against? Well, it's not. It's really, truly a one form. What is that? Well, we have kept secrets from you for too long. Now it is time to tell you exactly what a one form is, what dx is. Here is a formal definition. A differential one form on Rn is a linear function, alpha, that eats a vector v in Rn and returns a scalar alpha of v. It's got to do so in a linear fashion. Is that it? Yes, that's it. Okay, so for example, in Euclidean 3 space with xyz coordinates, a typical one form is going to look like something of the form 3dx minus 2dy plus dz. It's going to have some, some scalars in front of those component one forms, dx, dy, dz. Now, a one-form field is going to mean that we have a one-form at every single point in space. That means that instead of scalars in front of dx, dy, and dz, you have functions. Something like y squared dx plus 4xz dy minus z dz. Now, that's going to correspond to the case of a vector field f with components y squared, 4xz, and minus Z. This is going to be the one form field associated to it. Now, why the mystery? Why didn't we tell you what a one form was way back in single variable calculus? Well, the reason is, is that a vector in 1D is kind of, kind of trivial, right? In the same way that a one by one matrix in 1D is, is trivial, and we wouldn't use that for derivatives. So we never told you about vectors and matrices early on. In the same way, we never told you what dx really is. But now the secret has been revealed. And it might still be a little confusing, but we'll get to that.